Kumusta na? I'm back and um, my name is Carl at In Carl C. Rating. Today I'll be talking about my shoe collection and the style inspirations who wore the same shoes. So let's do this. So first shoes, this is from 2009 Cross Collection. So I always tell my friend that if there's like a zombie apocalypse, this is the shoes that I'm Post apocalyptic war vibe. The shoes um, have wings and flaps. One fashion critic, she said something about the shoes looking like a Boccioni sculpture. It resembles a person who's like walking and it shows a movement. So same with the boots, showing a movement of like being blown away. The people who wore them, Gracia Ventus. So Gracia Ventus is an avant-garde um, fashion blogger. She's now a designer and I think she's based in the Gold Coast here and in Shanghai. Another person who wore them is the enigmatic Arash Arfadade. Choose number two. Let's go to another Rick Owens favorite of mine. It's called the Fetish Boots. It's from the Moody collection Fall Winter 2014. It was referenced from Anthem Fall Winter 2011 menswear. It goes flared and it's made out of neoprene and a mixture of coated polyurethane. Yeah, the silhouette is what makes the shoe a show-stopping piece. It has flaps that wrap and flare asymmetrically. It's so awesome how these style icons style the boots. First up is Monster Lopaton. His name is Walfrido Lima. And he's from Switzerland. First outfit, niya, I think he was wearing a Rick Owens jacket, of course, and he paired it with like a drop crotch pants. And yeah, the boots. So parang yung boots is like taking part na ng pants. And I love the combination. And even Laurent wore them with shorts as well. Papakita ko rin yung, yung pagsuot niya, napakagara. So he was wearing topless. <laughs> so another guy who wore the fetish boots with panache is Sam. The first photo of him was wearing, you know, a khaki jacket. Long line tee, meron din siyang barang down jacket, gloves, and another favorite of mine is Comb the Garbage. <laughs> so that's his photos. I love his styling as well. I think he's very faithful with the Rick Owens runway look. So that's from Mastodon, I believe. And another one is not just one, but two. I've got the we got two colorways of the Rick Owens Canty Lever. So I got the white version and the gray version. It's really soft and it's just an amazing piece of footwear. Like, look at the construction and how he managed to do a gathering detail of the shoes. This is from the Sisyphus collection. The collection was um, heavily inspired by big boulder bags and voluminous dresses and out of proportion jackets. Few different people, stylish people who owns them. So one first up is Hannah of Equal Matter. She styled it perfectly with the Rick outfit, you know, with the gloves. And I love her like pose. Like she was just very divine, sitting down, looking like an alien, and with the shoes completing the whole outfit. And another one is Christian Restrepo or Sphinx on IG. So this is my favorite Sphinx outfit. And also monster location have the shoes. You can wear them high up, like stretch them up to the knee. Or you can also scrunch them down. Para may drapey gathered details uh boots. Mo. And the next shoes is Rick Owens brand Kusi. It's made out of suede. Why brand Kusi? So I think Rick Owens was referencing Constantin Brancusi back then with his 1938 work entitled King of Kings. And if you can see um, the sculpture, it's reminiscent of the of the shoes. If you look at it, it's like um, an African sculpture carving. It's also best worn by the enigmatic Lala or an Instagram. Her name is Walala. And she has the black brancusi and she wears them with her robot jackets and like skirts. Her features are really strong and the shoes complements her style and her looks really, really well. Plus her makeup. It's just avant-garde at its finest. So she was wearing this big oversized gray out of proportion hoodie with a bag. The second one would be Rasha Ventus again, my favorite blogger. 
So Rose and Rot has this black version, similar to mine. The next one is Jana Roy of Hearts of Thor. And lastly, we have Anisia or Abbott Hunt. And she is wearing the sci high version. She's a stylist and a model. I love how her style is a mix of street and wearable urban. The next shoes um, is the Margiela Tabby Boots. So let's take a break from it. Oh, <laughs> and um, this shoes doesn't need any introduction. And as you all know, this is the iconic Margiela Tabby Boots. Kaya ko binili yung beige na pony hair because it resembles like you know something animalistic. And if you wear them with like black outfits, it will really stand out. So that's the iconic split toe, chunky heel, and got the Margiela trademark at the back. And also, these are my favorite people who wear the tabby boots. Number one is Alex. That's him wearing the um, tabby boots. There's also Grasha Ventus, of course. She was wearing the white version. Terrible as well. And then there's also Alexander. He's a fashion model in Japan. Another fierce one is Patrick Kenny Scandal. I love her. She's I love this fashion model. I think she's um, from France. Of course, Lauren is seen here wearing the low heel tabby boots with the red karani outfit. And also Mimiya from the Philippines. She has the silver version. So next up is my Rick Owens Walrus in the gray colorway. It's from fall 2017 and it's um it's, it's a cowboy boot, according to the show notes. And what's different is it's like a cyborg space cowboy vibe. And Monster Locaton or Wolfrido have them in the black version. I think it's got the men's version. So that's how he styled it. And also Laurent. Laurent has the black version, which I think is really cool. And then Gloria or Gloria 251. For the spring summer 2017, Rick Owens created soft tools that drapes and gathers and the soft volumes ng mga damit, he contrasted it with the futuristic cowboy inspired boots. And I remember that era, 2017, lahat yata ng fashion houses, they released you know, their own version of cowboy boots. Calvin Klein did it, Beth Mall. And another boots that I really like is from his Pink's 2015 collection. It's the same with the walrus in a way that the structure is very elongated and square. But this is more softer in the look, almost like a ballerina flat without too much hardware and edges. So it's a low heel boots. You can see that's like sequins arranged geometrically, an homage to the Mayan fashion. So Rick Owens was inspired by the Mayan gold goddesses. And the collection has a biblical reference as well with the texture heavy robe dresses. And whenever I wear them, I feel like an Aztec cyborg from Mars or Jupiter. It's cool. I only have two icons here. One is Young Mulamo. And I love her fashion. I love her style. Here she's wearing the plain version, the black plain version, which I think is really, really wearable without the sequins. And she was wearing it with her um, oversized jackets. And also, again, it's Christian or Sphinx. He interprets the collection accurately. No one does Michelle Lamy style other than Sphinx. Like, he gets, he gets the look. And I'm really, really impressed. So next boots that I'm gonna show you is my Rick Owens Helicops from the Moody collection. It's the women's wear, but I think originally it's supposed to be uh, from the menswear line. The Moody Ellicott's boots was um, was inspired by Moody cops, like authoritarian. He was also inspired by the macho or muscle body of Tom of Finland. Resembles a muscle-like portion here. Like, so this is Patrick Mulholland. He has the great version of the Rick Owens Ellicott's boots. He was wearing a sleeveless tunic from Rick Owens with a basketball shorts. Another guy who owns them is well, three dolls, Monster Locator. And he was wearing it with the basketball shorts as well. I'll show you the photo of my outfit wearing them. So, Rick Castro did um, a portrait photo shoot. And it features older men wearing the helicopter boots, actually, from the Moody collection. I think it was really inspiring. Because before, wala pa masyadong um, photographers or editorials that celebrate, you know, mature models. But Rick Castro did a really nice portrait photo shoot and 
And another high fashion conceptual shoes that I own is the Rick Owens Rollman in silver gray or pewter. So yun siya. Um, I think it's one of the highest that I have. It comes up really high. I first saw it from Josephine Aresta and she was my biggest, biggest inspiration. And she has the green and black colorway version. So this boots was from the season, the fall winter 2011 fall demo. Yeah, I remember this specific boots in an editorial by W Mag. Um, so the photographer was Tim Walker and the model is none other than Tilda Swinton, my favorite. The editorial, she's like in a dystopian futuristic land. And another lady who owns the Roman boots is Avant Hunt or Anisha again. She's the model that I was talking about. She was wearing the black version. This is the um, classic Rick Owens wedge. And this shoe started my love for man wedge in 2009. I remember seeing Jujin of Jujin.com wore them. He has this, the lower version. I also got Loren the lower version, which I'll show you later in the photos. Also, there's um, Transgislan. And it's a wrap. So thank you again for listening. This video takes a massive amount of effort. So if you guys are sharing, liking, and subscribing, I really, really appreciate it. And thank you again. And I'm doing the giveaway as soon as I reach 100 subscribers. So please, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye!